Conduit system is Russian system that was used, I think, like from the 60s. Um, and they use it for weightlifting. So it was adapted originally by Louis Simmons of Westside Barbell from Russian training for weightlifters. And the idea is like very similar to CrossFit. The idea that we're using, you know, constantly varied movement patterns um, under high intensity efforts uh, to produce a desired result. So where CrossFit is like, uh, that's broad in general, is ours is like, would be more specific in the nature of powerlifting, so squat bench dead. But then that system's adapted pretty comfortably into that CrossFit world just because of that. So we're looking to build sort of a very well-rounded and inclusive strength. It's just the idea that like, like how broad is your strength? Um, and we test that under, under heavy loads. What is a dolphin's favorite letter? Do you know it? I don't know it. It's E. e. I oh. Mean, I can't do it. <laughs> That's a good no, one. Like uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's a good one. Alrighty, it's gonna ask you for a tip option first, and then you can do the tap for you. Do you have any plans for today? Uh, just hanging out. Do, do you know why the, the the chicken crossed the road? Why the chicken crossed the road? Because. <laughs> You're such an idiot. Oh my god. No, that's no, what it's... What's up with the camera? Uh, I don't know why. He just follows us around sometimes. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. For YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Ellie has a joke for you. I have two jokes. Actually. Two jokes. Uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's okay. not even going to be able to get through it. No, I can. Okay, what's the dolphin's favorite letter? <laughs> Did you make this way? Did you make it go up? No. Come on, no. get to the punchline. Okay, okay. Yeah. What's the dolphin's favorite letter? Uh, unsure. E. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I did dumb. You crushed it. You did barely get through that. <laughs> you crushed it. <laughs> you were so excited to get to it. <laughs> okay, okay, good, good, another one. Okay. Why did the chicken cross the road? Because! <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite one. That's my favorite one. I can see why. <laughs> have I ever told you my cookie joke? No. Yes, you have actually. I think I have actually. Get it. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's crummy. <laughs> <laughs> So dumb. At the Starbucks that we there's one downtown and every day they have a joke. Today was the oh, dolphin yeah. one. <laughs> I felt so bad for the lady. The she lady like, did it. Jake, Jake, do you it actually made it not so know funny. it? And we're like, no, she's like, it's E. E. -E, -E. <laughs> <laughs> I was like <laughs> poor lady, like she just tried to, like, how many times today has she had to say that? <laughs> uh we're gonna do a couple different things actually. We're gonna um we're gonna try to get the most out of like uh, Shane and Leanne while they're here. So just, you know, Justin and Ellie work with me all the time. Um, so we're gonna try to do the things that we do, um, but have a different set of eyes. So we're gonna see if we can look for just a couple different pieces. So we're gonna probably blend the session a little more than we normally might. So we're gonna do some back squat uh, and then do some upper. So just a bit of a mixed bag of things. Look as much things as we can in the session because we kind of got a week where we can afford a little bit of skills focus. Is Jesse being normal to all of you guys? Is he being weird? <laughs> 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 it's a good day. <laughs> it's a good day. <laughs> so what we're looking for is glute engagement. Um, High-end high athletes can hide movement faults very easily. That makes it really hard for coaches to find. So looking from the outside, a lot of times he can look perfect. So I'm looking for wherever he loses speed at. Because if he loses speed in an area, then I know that area is either he's not accelerating using technique or there's a lack of strength there. Uh, so that's what we'll address after that. So then once I see a movement fault, I look for it to see if there's a dysfunction in the joint or if it's a lack of strength or if he needs to adjust his position to optimize his leverages for his technique. You're going to have a hard time finding a breakdown of movement on basic movements for him, so then you have to look for a loss of speed somewhere. It is. 
I feel like my chest. What is this going to happen? All right, so they're doing a decline zercher setup. And so, you know, for the midline, it's just like any other muscle group. So if we want to get stronger, we're doing one rep, three rep, five rep maxes. I want to ask people, how many people out there actually, when they were looking at trying to raise their deadlift or their clean, you only have one chance to contract your midline for that pull. So people doing sets of 20s, that's like muscular endurance, right? So if we work a one rep max, get our abs contracted at a faster rate of speed, we transfer, you know, quarter extremity acceleration, we're going to pull more weight. So when I look at a pull, when it comes to Olympic lifts or deadlifts, if you're slow off the ground and your technique is perfect, first thing I look at is your midline. And then the second thing I'll look at is like hamstring posterior chain. But a lot of times the midline is not strong enough to con violently contract. So we have a GHD set up so we can tuck our feet underneath, turn that incline into a decline bench. And that way we have our feet anchored so they can put as much power to the pavement as possible. We have the bands pulling backwards so the tension is, is completely on even when they're still at the top. So if it's straight weight, they can rest on bone structure, but the band tension is pulling them backwards. And then we limit to three reps so that we are actually training very heavy for that, for midline. I can't get so the jealous. mediums on, but Jesse wears medium <laughs> SVDs. And he... <laughs> That's hurtful. But he thinks that his legs are bigger than mine, but I'm saying they're not they, because... But they are, though. I cannot, for the life of me, get these on my legs. Oh, I don't want to wear these uh, I smell like magic. You can get them on, and then what? Me try and get them on. There's no chance. Ah! It's lost in there. See? You got it. I think we decided the problem is not the legs, but the leg. Look, it's not. <laughs> Maybe it's just not strong enough. Oh. Oh. But. I feel like if we measured my calf, that it would for sure be bigger than Jesse's. Jesse. Yeah. Well, they said her calves are bigger than yours. I mean, she's like a squashed down version. <laughs> Jesse, that is so hurtful. <laughs> a squashed down version of a human? <laughs> <laughs> That's the same thing. I'm not a midget, I've just got short legs. I've actually got a really long torso. Like, if we're sitting here, like, sit up straight, taller than him. <laughs> See? He's got short legs. But that's why I'm so fast at squatting. Sure. So who's the real winner? Me. We have a 600. And then we rest until our heart rate's under a 157. And then at the 10 minute mark, we run another 600. Uh, that's a lot faster. And then you rest two minutes. And then I think it's the same thing. It's 500. Um, rest until the eight minute mark. Never mind. There's not rest until a 10 minute mark. It's 10 minutes of slow running. Yeah. Which that seems a lot worse. So we have a 600, and then we rest until our heart rate's under 157, and then a 10 minute like zone two run, and then another 600, rest two minutes. And it goes five, eight, five, rest, four, six, four, rest, two, four, two, rest. And then we're doing the conjugate course with friend Jesse. He's not the tripod, it's the actual person, Jesse. Whoa, and you get to see Jesse for real for real. <laughs> you get to see Jesse for real for real. Gosh. And yeah, it's like the conjugate course. So I guess the secret's been out now that he's not actually my bodybuilding coach. So you actually get to see what he actually does for me. But yeah, should be good. Two day course. Let's get big. Actually not get big, get strong, I guess. Those powerlifters don't look big, but they lift big. And that's what we want. <laughs> It's Adam McAdams. <laughs> yeah, that's, my, that's my alias. Right. Don't be telling nobody. Check it out. RAR put a shirt together for semifinals. Um, they are going to be giving 20% of the proceeds to uh, myself and one other athlete to get us to semifinals to help with the cost. So, um, shirt drops on Tuesday. Check it out. It's going to be pretty dope. We got some tie dye, we'll some cool stuff. Yeah. We got day one, conjugate method seminar. I'm um, gonna get into intro talk and then a bunch of lower stuff through the day today. So I think we're gonna max out sumos. So learning the uh, pieces of like 
building a plan. We're gonna do it on like a timeline. So it's also got like structure to it. Lunch and then we're into dynamic effort for lower. And give you some box jumps, little uh, Kanji style Metcon. Learning, expanding minds. They say when one teaches, to learn, Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> the conjugate program. So there's like the Bulgarian program where like you like peak at one time and then like you kind of like go down. But the conjugate program is we're like peaking like at a constant rate and we always hit one at maxes. <laughs> Can you game. spell it? C O N J. U A T E. Uh, Not so blonde. I missed one letter. It's fine. Really? Yeah. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. You missed the G. It's a J. There is a J, but there's also a G. No, there's not. Yeah. You're joking. <laughs> I did forget it. Caught you get. Thanks for watching everything we've been up to so far. In the next video, we're gonna talk about how Jesse's helped integrate the conjugate system into my programming, and we actually get to max out three lifts, so maybe you guys will catch some PRs. See you guys then.